I was stunned because I really didn't think the Supreme Court would do this. I thought they had a little bit more common sense than that, but apparently they don't. A former fisherwoman in Alaska reacts to the landmark decision by the Supreme Court, one that slashes punitive damages in connection with the Exxon Valdez disaster. It was back in 1989, the giant tanker ran aground off the coast of Alaska, spilling 11 million gallons of oil into Prince William Sound and destroying hundreds of miles of coastline. Five years later, a court awarded $5 billion in damages. In 2006, that number was cut in half. And after Wednesday's ruling, the number is now $500 million, or an average of $15,000 for each person who filed a claim against the energy company. I thought the $2.5 billion was, uh, would compensate us somewhat for what we've lost, but uh, that didn't happen. So. The punitive damage now of $500 million doesn't even cover the lost herring revenue. Uh, and that doesn't go into the other cities that were impacted, you know, the other oil communities. In writing for the High Court, Justice David Souter stated that punitive damages may not exceed what the company already paid to compensate victims for economic loss. The decision was 5-3. to three. Justice Samuel Alito did not take part since he's a shareholder in ExxonMobil. Exxon has responded to the decision, saying in part, the Valdez oil spill was a tragic accident. We have worked hard to prevent such accidents from happening in our company again. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.